Hi you guys, it's Yvonne. I am at the thrift store. I'm at the ARC thrift store for their after Christmas sale. It's Tuesday, December something, 29th. <laughs> Anyways, I'm back at that ARC thrift store for checking on that gold metal Christmas tree display unit that some of you adored and thought I should buy. So I'll see you inside in a few minutes, okay? Wait a minute, I'm gonna show you. We got some snow last night. Yeah, we got a little bit of snow, but it's not too cold today. So, all right, I'll see you inside. Bye-bye. Well, now the donations are still coming in. That's awesome. Hopefully they're stocking too. So we're gonna go on inside and I wanted to show you my new mask that I got in honor of my dog, Highway. So let's just go on in. Wow, seriously, look at all those donations. Oh my gosh, it's probably gonna be another good week or so at this um, thrift store. Okay, so we'll start here looking for that 70s butterfly picture too. <laughs> and um, I don't see that frame in here. They've added a few things. There's a set of these photograph three-piece set that's kind of cool a little Banksy vibe not quite as like ironic as Banksy but it's kind of got that vibe right higher end street art how much is that $9.99 but anyways um here's a better look at the mask the puppy mask I got the gas station in honor of my dog I love this but anyways there's one more section over there that has pictures so before I start I'm gonna go we'll go look at that real quick and see if we can find that picture see over there we'll go see if it's over there okay I don't see it in here but I do see some interesting things this one's a little dated a few years back all rhinestones Hang on, I gotta put it back. This is a unique piece, hand painted. Martinez. Made in Mexico. That artist name sounds familiar from something else. I'm probably gonna check that out, you guys. And let's see if this is another. Okay, just a snake painted on some suede. No artist signature, but there's something else unique in here. Hang on. Okay, just a like a Mandela made out of feathers. Oh, there, is that the roses? No, that's someone apparently bought the roses and that beautiful butterfly. But this is pretty too, and the soft pastels. That's pretty. <laughs> okay, well, that's what I get for wanting everything on the cheap i mean thrift store prices are going up that's just something we have to deal with let's go back and start at the beginning oh wait let's go look for that tree okay checking the mugs for anything cool $5.99 nope that's too much for Ray Dunn right now, unless it's super epic. That's probably a Starbucks, but it's got a chip. Yes. All right, I don't see anything. That's pretty. Threshold, I think that said. So that's Target's. Okay, so no mugs I want to get, but I think I will get this. That's cute. 99 cents. That color's not on sale, but that's super cute. Now, I looked at vases by myself because it was kind of crowded, and you know I love my vases. 
check out this one this will be half price made in portugal so we're going to check that one out and oops this won't be half price but it's only 2.99 but i like it because it's signed so we're going to check that one out i can't read it right now you guys but it's signed so and it's pretty enough so if it turns out to be nothing that major and look at this cute thing this is a wooden pig bank with leather ears look that's adorable and it's signed to west 1994 okay so that'll be cute for two dollars and i just really like these two unusual vases look hang on I'm gonna get those. I'll probably end up keeping those. And one more thing. That. I'm liking the color of that. It is gonna be $4.99, so we're gonna peel that label off somewhere and we're gonna check it out. I think that's gonna be something. So that's where we're at so far. Just looking through this area and I was going to just show you this brand. These are pretty look. And here's the brand. I've sold a couple of their pieces before. This particular pattern is, mm, I don't know, 12 to $18, depending on where and condition. So they'd be $2. Anyways, there's the name on that again, England. Stonehenge, made in England, different series. That's a really pretty one though, look at it. Kind of embossed a little bit, right? And there are two of them. But I shall pass, but that, just so you know. And I thought this was pretty. This turns out to be left in China. And there are five of them, but see that divot? So that's for a little cup or something, right? They'd be a dollar fifty a piece. There's the name on that. That's a pretty pattern now. I don't think that sells for a whole lot either, and I don't see any of the matching like cups. So, and another thing I checked out. This looked pretty for um, pottery, and so it's actually porcelain. Not, not on sale. So three ninety nine. There's two of them though. Hang on, let me turn it around. And so that is Smith, made in Brazil. And this particular piece seems to have a current resale value with this monkey baboon face. It's not a lion, it really is like a baboon something. Um, oh, I don't know, about 12 to $15. Just so you know, there was something else in here that was pretty. Oh, I'll just let you guys look too. I just don't really deal a lot with this stuff. Um, I mean, I do flip it over, look, you know, but I, I, I need to learn that stuff if I'm going to get into it. And I feel like that's just pretty tricky right now. Let's see what these are. No name. Those are kind of cool. Stoneware. I'll let you guys look. You'll holler at me if there's something. If there's a pattern that you guys know sells for a little bit more money, right? <laughs> and so often, like the gold or silver trim is, you know, kind of coming off. Well, that looks interesting. Lusterware, made in Japan, yeah. $3.99. Just a a floral scene, no house or anything like that. Hmm. That's a pretty set. I bet you that's going to be new. Made in China. Lens Victoria Rose. <laughs> Just an announcement. Oh, that looks like... Okay, she seriously had a lot to tell us. <laughs> I wish that wasn't all chipped around the edge. How much is it again? 
six dollars sorry but she did tell us christmas stuff is 75 percent off that might be vintage right there let me look at this made in usa yeah oh let's put that in the cart for a little while all right glasses Well, I don't see anything I really feel like I want to buy. Nice little etched piece there. And I have looked at this one before. <laughs> that little souvenir piece from the motel. Maybe since we don't do matchbooks anymore, maybe people are collecting little glasses. Okay, you guys, let me go find something else, another cool aisle, and I'll be back. Be back in a few minutes. Wait, I missed something. I was just about to leave and I looked down. So, yeah, I was just bragging on George's video the other day that, you know, we're tall. He and I are both tall and we get to do, you know, like we get the cool stuff off the rounder tops. <laughs> but I was saying, but I forget to check the bottom shelves. But here's a whole set. Well, there's a couple pieces missing. You know what I mean? Some luster wear with the scenery hand painted in Japan. Now, those won't be on sale. And this stuff is kind of iffy. It really seems to depend on the scenery I'm learning. But anyways, if you're local and you like that stuff, there's a pretty good setup. Well, guess what, you guys? That's still here. Can't find the pillow anymore. Now, it would be half price, $8. But now I spread it out. See, it's not quite a twin at all. It's like a throw size. And see that thing in the middle? I just don't know. I couldn't find any information about it, whether it is like, you know, a casket cover. But I kind of want to go ahead and get it this time. I think someone would still like it to put on top of their bed or I don't know if that's what it is. And I think someone would really like that. One of those real feminine girly girls that like, you know, that kind of romantic look style. I think I'm going to get it. Maybe the pillow's still around here somewhere. Hey, hey, I'm back. I don't know how much longer I'm going to get to film because um, my battery's about to die, sorry. And I'm going to the grocery store. But look at this. I've done well with plush. I sold a large plush about this size. It was a Balto um, from the movie. I think it was about like, a, it was over $100 that I got at the thrift store. This one here is $24.99 and not half price today. But let me back up and see how huge it is. But I would love to get that. If it makes it to a half price sale, I will probably get that. And the only other thing I picked out was this gorgeous real leather bag. Everything's real leather on it, even the straps. There's no maker name. It'd be $12.99, not on sale, but... I just, the bottom portion is, the width is a bit wide, but man, it's awesome little boho purse, so I'll think about that. So before my battery dies, we'll go look at jewelry and then I'll probably have to go. So I'll see you guys over there in just a second. Okay, I am working my way to jewelry. It's right over there, but since Christmas is 75% off, this, this one caught my eye. It looked a little more expensive. It's got gemstones around it with some gold metallic and I peeled back the label and there's a signature on it. Can't quite make it out right now, but I think for 75% off, I'll just go ahead and get it. All right, so over to the jewelry. Well, it looks like I grabbed that just in time because he's cleaning it off and he don't seem to care about what happens to them. That's kind of bummer. But anyways, we know that happens. Pink is not on sale, so unless something's super epic, I'm not going to get pink. I'm really kind of disappointed at hearing that happening over there, just throwing it in there, and you can hear it breaking. It's kind of a drag. 
Is that an anklet? Because I love anklets. That's my jewelry of choice. Actually, I always have anklets on just all year round. That's an interesting custom piece. I looked at this before. So today it's on sale. It's just kind of pretty. That has like glass beads. It's just costume jewelry, but it's really cute. Okay, other side. Not as much on this side. This buckle bracelet's interesting. I saw something else of this. This with the glass on it and shell. And that looks like a magnetic clasp. Hang on a minute. Okay, so I, this is what I pulled out to potentially get. Nothing. I mean, it's just costumes right here. Let me use their display. So I think that's kind of cool. A little boho looking. Uh, I think I will pass on that. But I was right. That's just a magnetic clasp. It just pulls apart. And I thought maybe this might be um, some vintage. I can't really tell. But those glass beads look like they kind of have flowers inside of them. I just can't really tell. You know, jewelry is something I'm still learning. So, as a matter of fact, I just went into Thelma Thrift's. I haven't watched one of her unbaggings for a long time, and she got a great bag yesterday. Now, I can't open these. Okay, hang on. I'm going to buy them, so hang on. Let me open it. Okay, I had to ask the cashier first and tell her I was going to buy them. I just wanted to open them to show. They look handmade, and they have a marking on them. The clasp was throwing me off but that even that looks somewhat handmade somehow and it has a stamp on it but I just can't read it I'm pretty sure that's silver and some kind of real stone I mean look at that setting so I'm going to get those for $3.99 they won't be on sale and I don't know if you guys remembered if you watched me a lot last week there was this cool angel wing and made it out of a Wait a minute, angel wings attached to like a spoon ending. It was right there. I said, oh, I'd like to have that, but I did, they were so busy. Well, today they didn't want to busy, so she opened this up for me, and I got it. So I'll have to show it to you later, because since it was in the case, um, she took it up front. But I'm fixing to check out, so maybe I'll get to show you. All right. Okay, you guys, I think I'm done. I'm going to go. And I might take the time to show you that necklace when I get up to the cash register, but if not... Thanks for shopping with me. I had a good time. I hope you did too. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay, there it is. I'm checking out. And so she's letting me have a moment to show it to you. Will you put it on your purple gloves? Because that really showed it off. Isn't that cool, you guys? Yeah, somebody made that. And so it's half price today. All right. So for real, bye-bye.